unfazed by the challenge of the weeks ahead. And it's got it's one of the smallest urban areas in the country. But we do a good job, you've uh, you've seen the town. The town is well, looks well, keep it well. We will we we'll, we'll show our image to the world with the door friends. I'm the guy who basically makes the keeps the train keeps the train going. I'm like a train driver, right? Uh, I end up with having the jobs to do this when decisions are, when councils make decisions and meetings. Somebody has to pull the thing along. And that's my job. For the Tour of France, we'll let's bring exposure to about 950 million people that have never heard of it in Scotland. We'll now know it's there. And we want to show the image that how attractive it is, and what a nice place to visit. Come with your holidays and spend your hard earned children's in the town. Okay. 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 And the same, and the same, back to South 10 4. Now in 10 fucking 4. No, it's actually uh, 25 uh, past. <laughs> Look at it. We will be very happy when the tour is gone through Clun Roach and it's on its way to New Ross and then somebody else's part. Uh, we would have done we'd have done the business and Scotty would have uh, been justifiably proud and there he would have gone without a warmer. We said, well done, lads. Thanks very much. You're on your own now. In search of an interview and raffle prizes, Eddie and Liam Spratt of South East Radio travel to Dublin. It's, it's end up back in that field. How are you? I'm at the Silver Tassie now. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye, 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 bye. He's on his way. Let me get Stephen to sign up your jerseys first. How are you, Stephen? Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, Stephen, good to see you. Good to see you again. You're looking in shame. Sure. Just made on the bike. We're expecting to ride on the bike, actually. Never met Stephen before. No. Stay that day and night. Well, both that day. Well, both that day. Well, both that day. Is the kind of for me or for with the Tour de France of déjà vu? You, you, you know what? Uh, it is amazing because it's not my country, but I I know more than the local what's going to happen. You know it should be all the way around. It should be them explaining me what's going to happen. <laughs> Frenchman Guy Urbain hoped to complete his bed and breakfast just outside the town in time for the tour. In the guest house, you know, I won't call it top of the range, but I would say the top of the middle of the road. You know, and my market is mostly Irish market, the domestic market. I mean, if anybody comes from abroad, I'm not going to kick them out, certainly not. Welcoming is, is a part of the Irish uh, tradition, you know, and it's still very, very strong. Like every time when my family comes here or whatever, there are people stopping, you know, uh, in the street saying hello when they are not used to have somebody, a stranger saying hello to them or speaking to them even if they don't understand. My dad is 87. And when he comes to Ireland, he has a chat with some of the neighbors. They don't speak French, they don't speak English. So I don't know what they're talking about, but uh, they stop and they have a chat. You know, and I think that is absolutely amazing, you know? Selection for Miss Tour de France approached, the Anascolte Community Workshop was employed to provide an essential accessory. Oh, that's lovely. All right. Yeah, you did a lovely job on it. Oh, yeah. Whoever we're wearing, that was very proud of And it's only now, when it's coming near the event, that the people are inclined to get excited. They're very laid back people, very calm, cool, and collected. And uh, they don't believe something's going to happen until they actually see it. It's uh, they uh, uh, rouse them up uh, into a uh, great Howard spirit of, uh, you know, of uh, uh, watching out for international riders and all that. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Like, yeah, it's going to be really excellent about that. Like. It's like a tadantle here. And it's like a tadantle in Kilkenny. We spend a fortnight's holiday down here every year. We think it's beautiful. You know? So with the Tour de France happening, it makes it just that wee bit extra special for us, you know. 
country for the start. I mean, it's only the 13th time in the history of the Tour de France it started away from French soil. And so it's a great honour to come to any town, and especially in Ireland, because they'll look after the tour so well. The 10 a.m. start time came and went, this race being a little more relaxed than the real thing. 
questioned the wisdom of the tour coming to Ireland. The Sunday Tribune had made serious allegations about the use of drugs in cycling and asked whether Ireland would greatly benefit after all the inconvenience and expense. Tour de Farce, Corrupt Sports, and Nicholson is in public rehab. What, 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 what's their line? What, what, what they're saying is, is, is that... It's going to be bad for business. That it's actually not going to bring the benefits that they, they promised. And, um, but you're, I mean, on the day... Uh, what's the idea that the roads will be closed, businesses won't do as much? But I mean, that's hardly the right line. Mm. Surely the long term is Ireland goes, I mean, showcase. We get to be seen by so many, we put our best foot forward, and we get the benefit from for years to come. I mean, Tour de Farce, it's a good headline. And I mean, the, I'm not so sure the Sunday Tribune is that interested in the Tour de France. It's only interested in selling the paper. Do you think? <laughs> The Gala Ball on tonight is, is co-hosted by the Strawberry Fair and the Tour de France Events Committee. We have our Miss Tour de France who is going to be making a grand entrance here in a few minutes. Be typical of, of a certain element of, of begrudgery that exists in this country throughout, um, you know, throughout society as such, in that big events or whatever events are coming, there's always somebody there to knock you no matter what. Uh. Cycling is the only sport which tests for EPO for blood blood doping. It's doing important to know. It's leading the way. Cycling was the first sport in the world to test for drugs back in 1967. How can you put a price on the community spirit that has been engendered by this whole project? Every brush and hammer in the county seemed to be in action. his house was not quite ready for paying guests. Master chef Guy Urban had a job for the big day. What we are catering is all for the for uh, the Tour de France, the crew. You know, like to have, it's going to be a kind of a brunch. You know, with, with bacon, sausages, eggs. <laughs> Yes. 
Bicycle and tricycle races for three to six year olds in the market square drew a big crowd of proud parents and some bemused preschoolers. <laughs> Rumours of cowfall abuse were later proved to be unfounded. Hope mothers and fathers, when these children get a little bit bigger, that you still encourage them to say. In Dublin, the author of the Sunday Tribune article was keen to dampen expectations of a billion eyes looking at Anna Scorsese. The big sell will be these areas for which the tour passes will be broadcast live on TV all over the world. And for half of the places that the that the race actually passes through, they're not going to be on TV at, at all. Take the example of an Escorty say, okay? You will see very few pictures of an Escorty. What you will see is there may be a few aerial uh, pictures of the town. You will also see the, the uh, peloton rolling out. And that's that is basically it. Back in Wexford, the tour de femme continued. Are we any more that we can entice to get on? Even Garda Ursula Corrie was coaxed out of the squad car to join dozens of other well known locals on ten exhausting laps of the town's main streets.
first of many ferries and charter flights loaded with the tour entourage had begun to descend on Dublin. In Wexford, the technical committee gathered for the last time. Right now, what I want to say is that our best line with the national media with Wexford and then Scotty and County Wexford, they've always welcomed people as individuals and we're welcoming the tour design for what it is, but we're also welcoming all those people as individuals who will come to visit us. And that's our message out to them. We are not at all unhappy about what we might lose in revenue one way or the other during the day. And remember, we haven't got a day off. They all have a day off. Have we done anything maybe with the, um, the French speaker for the... We have, we have not been able... I listened to you earlier there. We have not been able to get any information as to when we'll be able to get at uh, television teams or interviews or where or when. We just can't get that information. We've tried and tried so far. We haven't got it. It seems to change like other things are changing. I'm just going around to the residents in the area of the town. So the residents have been quite good about moving their cars and they've, they've no hassle at all in doing so for us. And we have secure parking available for them in the uh, Greyhound track with their security guards on all night. Of course, the third biggest event of the world is the World Cup being first, the Olympic second and the Tour de France is third. The dog can create severe problems with the race. In fact, one year in France, the leading cyclist was killed when he hit a dog at the finish line. So we don't want anything like that to happen here. And he's also here. Just keep him in on the morning, will you? Yeah, he does do it now. Yeah. There's been great commitment from everybody involved, from local authorities to health boards to different agencies, and we have no doubt that the tour will be a success. They could never rule out the possibility of some, uh, some sort of device being placed in, in some of the underground uh, compartments. They could never rule out the possibility, so we have to ensure that they're, they're all sealed properly and that, they're, that they are intact prior to the, the tour taking place. Get a great buzz out of it. It's a challenge. It's a change for everyday work. People came last Friday morning about 4 o'clock and tried to break them up, so we'll have to replace them again. Well, it wasn't very nice. I mean, we put them up for the people in the town and they broke them down. There's so many camera crews around, we have to make it because they're filmed with the wheels broken, so we have to redo them again. With the green jersey, because Sean Kelly won it four times, we put the Irish team colours on the wheel and the um, the mountains jersey which is won by Baron the last couple of years is French so we put the French one on it and the yellow jersey we just put the French colours on it as well and that's where we got the combinations. keeping keen onlookers at bay, the gracious rooms and courtyards of Dublin Castle echoed with few words of English as the tour operation and a huge press corps gathered for the opening ceremony. Not surprisingly perhaps, it was the sport of cycling rather than the host country that was uppermost in their minds. Absolument pas. Et je suis bien désolée. Je connais pas une Scotty. J'ai vu sur la carte en repérant un peu le, que c'était au bord de l'eau, que ça avait l'air sympathique, que ça faisait un gros point rouge sur la carte, mais savoir combien d'habitants il y a, comment ça se passe, à quoi ça ressemble, je suis incapable de, de vous en parler. One of the few Irishmen to be seen was Dr. David Curtis, normally found at his practice in Wexford Town. I'm doing all the drug testing on the race. We're going to test on average six and maybe up to ten riders every day. The riders who are here would be crazy to be on drugs because we test them. We're looking for drugs. Eventually, you're going to get caught out. So to get caught would ruin a career because forever afterwards, you've got that faint of suspicion about you. Just very quickly, what are your plans for the next few days? 
Well, they changed so rapidly, so it's uh, like, I was even having a shower this evening with the mobile phone, you know, <laughs> I went off, so it's sort of, uh, it's very varied at the moment, like there's, there's still, still some work to be done back home, and um, both uh, Eamon and myself and a, a crowd of us have come up here tonight. And the tour people won't be down till 6, 7, 8 o'clock on Sunday, which is a little bit late for what we want. I think mean, things have been running smoothly in the start, you saw they haven't felt the need to come down too often. But it's getting to the stage now where we need a couple of answers for the question, yeah. But now, as I can see, some of the Sunday newspapers are very negative, and it's a pity, you know. The public, uh, they're, they're not uh, controlled by the press, you know. The people make up their own minds and come up and come out and enjoy the day. And there'll be always problems in sport anyway, but it still shouldn't stop the general public from enjoying what will be a wonderful, unique occasion. <laughs> travels thousands of miles each year to unfamiliar spots, so special signage is crucial. That wasn't stopping him and adding an Irish touch. I got her six K and me the fog of signs, 47 by 18 inches. We had them up in an hour. Could you make up a piece of cardboard that says, says K and me the fog and we fill the gap there, you know? K is C E for the A D. Fada. A D. Yeah. Mila is M I Fada L E. There were 130,000 welcomes for the Tour de France riders as Dublin Centre was closed to four wheel traffic for the Tour Prologue. <laughs> College held the VIP area where cycling heroes of the past and the future soaked in the atmosphere. Mark, do you think you have a chance of getting into this race at some stage? There's some proper people looking after me and if I interview with them properly, yeah, definitely, but you would like to. Yeah, it'd be brilliant experience and yeah. it'd just be wonderful to write. Yeah, and what do you think about it? Mark Scanlon has since become world junior champion. Tour director Jean Marie Leblanc could be happy that Ireland was going so well. At home, a cycling official was in police custody. One of the attendants of the Pristina team was caught on Thursday near Lille 
um, in possession of stupidants, which are uh, drugs, basically. The implications could have been uh, the abandoning of the Tour de France. Could have been. That was the maximum thing that could happen. But the team could be expelled. Up. en place du moins pour signaler le parcours. On a ici la tête et devant, on s'en va tout droit. Et vous trouvez que les routes irlandaises, vous en pensez quoi Elles sont pas trop excellentes. Elles ont beaucoup à revoir. With the Dublin stages completed, the time prepared its best pronunciation of Bienvenue. It's all going to be down here now in the next two hours. Uh, we have um, some of the vehicles have arrived, um, television crews have arrived, pieces are starting to come together. <laughs> Tracy's hotel was hosting two teams, Festina and Proti. Their advanced vehicles presented some little difficulties in the narrow streets of Temple Shannon. Thank you. Move it right. Come right up. Up right. Up here. Okay. Up here. Up here. And behind as well. Not a problem. Move that on. Look at here. Voilà. Monsieur Eamon Horror, ça vous dit quelque chose, Eamon Horror ouais. Très gentil, très sympa, et c'était bien, on a très bien été accueillis. Alors espérons que ça continue, quoi. <rire> il euh, il put the, the water here Oui. Yes. Yeah. Water here, easy. Water, easy, oh. yeah. It's good, là. It's good, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm back in Belfield, Larry, the party's over. Yeah. You know the ones I'm talking about? Riders, yeah, the last day. Riders, quarters, caravan, um, what else is in there? Officials. Moi, c'est aussi qui travaille cette nuit. Je ne sais pas comment je vais pouvoir les réveiller. Donc, c'est pas possible. Ça va être un peu de Quand même, le tour est une grosse, grosse machine et s'il y a un petit grain de sable, son enfant ça coince et il ne faut pas que ça coince. Mais sinon, ça s'est très, très bien passé en Irlande. Dommage qu'il <rire> n'y ait pas énormément de soleil, il n'y en ait pas vraiment dans le sud de la France. Mais c'était très, très sympa. Ils ont fait les panneaux, ça se voit bien, c'est très bien fait. S'il y en a qui se plaignent, c'est qu'ils sont vraiment mauvais. Mais ça arrive quand même sur le tour. C'est tout bien en Irlande Donc, à, à partir de la de l'entrée, yeah. open service, yeah. open general, yeah. 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 The GAA grounds at Belfield were sealed to all but accredited personnel. County Council Supervisor MJ Rocketer knew he was less than a day away from a much desired rest. Are you going to get any sleep tonight? Uh, doesn't look like it. Not at this moment, okay? <laughs> See you at breakfast. Could be a long way. With a plaque erected in their honor, Anton and Yvonne Tracy nervously awaited the weary riders from Dublin. had to be erected before dark.
well, to keep very private about what you're doing with those arms. I'd imagine they'll all watch the match and take an early, as an early start to the morning as well. So. <laughs> On this night, half the world was glued to the World Cup final between Brazil and France. Others couldn't enjoy the soccer. The village was quickly taking shape. France roared to a 3-0 victory. The celebrations resembled the glory days of Italia 90, but now the tricolour was red, white and blue. As the streets finally cheered, it was a reasonable concern that anyone would be able to get up the next morning. Turn off the fridge on this freezer. Uh, I open the door because it's a block of ice. It's coming to Innescorti, like a small town. Great novelty. 
Big event. <laughs> Notre fonction principale, c'est d'assurer la sécurité de tout le dispositif du Tour de France, hein, c'est-à-dire assurer la sécurité bien sûr des courants en priorité, et ensuite des voitures. Pas tout à fait encore. Non, ça va, c'est supportable. On est très content d'avoir été en Irlande, en tout cas, et on regrette d'avoir de... reparti aussi vite. Mais j'espère revenir un jour, en tout cas. Les Irlandais sont très gentils, et on est quand même très très bien, très bien reçu, très accueillant, tout va bien. Thank you. 